hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we have itel vision one plus which is also known as itel l6501 i want you to pay close attention at the behavior of this phone when a charger is being plugged in all right so uh, make sure you don't skip this video and watch this video to the end you are going to learn a lot all right now a technician brought this phone and told me that um, this phone is not charging is not charging so when i insert the charger into the phone from my charger meter as a technician it is important for you to have a charger meter in your workshop okay now let me plug the charger meter and i want you to see the behavior of this phone okay so if you're interested in our online class uh please message us on the numbers on the screen and chat us up on how you can go about being professional in this job and the online training is not just for beginners it's not for just uh, people who already are into repair it is also for professionals so if you want to know more about hardware troubleshooting and repair please dm us as soon as possible and we are going to help you now pay close attention at the charger meter all right right that's number two i'm going to insert the charger right now and you can see it went straight up to 4.9 5.0 4.8 amps which is very very dangerous which is very very dangerous all right guys this should not show on your charger and the phone is smoking the phone is smoking the phone is smoking up oh oh my god so this phone can blow up if i had not removed the charger and just imagine the battery was not even plugged into the phone it is very dangerous all right let's continue and confirming that the phone is powering on guys as you can see the phone is working perfectly all right this is giving us a very good clue all right where to troubleshoot but um let's proceed with the troubleshooting let's see what the problem is and how we can if you have this type of problem how you can step by step troubleshoot the first thing you need to do is physical inspection trying to see where there is bond corrosion that can cause uh, a kind of short circuit because that kind of reading on a charger meter is called short circuit now from the test point of the vbus line i'm testing with my multimeter on diode mode 0 0.5 voltage drop shows that there is no short on that line that means the short there is no short on that line could this be true or we should just proceed into the uh troubleshooting all right now this section i'm about to open now is the charging section as you know phone pcb has different sections. we have network section you have charging section we have light section we have the display section all right but this section we are much concerned about is the charging section because the phone is powering on now let's do a physical inspection on the charging section all right we have a bunch of uh, components right here we have fuse resistors we have capacitors we have ic's right there charging ic and uh resistors all around okay so we are going to take readings of all these components right here i can see a bond somewhere i can see a, the panel is a bit burnt somewhere around that charging ic area this could either be that the charging ic is faulty or something is making the charging ic it up okay so let's proceed into the troubleshooting putting your multimeter on diode mode for troubleshooting okay red probe on ground and black probe to take your reading guys make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing tips and tricks and make sure you also share with your technician friends so that they, they can also have knowledge about mobile phone troubleshooting and repair let's go with the troubleshooting red probe on ground and black probe to read all the components on the charging section okay now i'm going to start with uh the capacitors okay uh I'll, okay let me just take random measurements okay starting by uh, the, the capacitor right here this capacitor is showing is good all right this capacitor is also good all right this resistor we should get the same value on both sides yes it's good this capacitor right here one side to ground and this side and this is not good 0 0.089 you can see that that is not a good capacitor all right now the one next to the charging ic 
this side and the other side The other, the other side is also shot into ground so both of this capacitor both sides are shot into ground that means this capacitor is also bad but because this capacitor is having a lower resistance all right uh value we are going to examine this capacitor first before we check the one of 0 0.089 all right right there okay so um let me quickly get my pcb holder and let's pop out that capacitor and if you pay close attention on that capacitor earlier i told you there's a kind of uh brownish you know the pcb color has changed just around the capacitor between that capacitor and the charging ic which shows that the problem is right there because the the the, the amps it was drawing from that charger meter is too high and probably when the customer was also using it it was really uh, putting a lot of pressure on that side which makes the pcb uh color to change from blue to brownish all right so it is very important physical inspection is very very important all right i have removed the capacitor this is how to do proper step-by-step -step troubleshooting guys if you do it this way you are going to get results let me cool down the pcb then um we are going to take another reading with our multimeter multimeter on diode mode as usual and we are going to take reading on where we have removed that capacitor you know the capacitor has both positive and uh positive and negative parts so those parts we are going to read the positive part and let's see if it's still short into ground or not now let's go now the short is gone guys the short is gone now let's take a uh, reading of that capacitor previously it's also reading properly now that means this capacitor the one that read 0 0.089 uh, voltage drop that time was having a connection with this bad capacitor that was why it was also shorting now let's take uh another reading of this capacitor as you can see this capacitor is having a full short reading which is a confirmation that the capacitor is really bad now when you discover that the capacitor, the capacitor is bad all you need to do is to replace the capacitor okay now i'm getting i'm taking a capacitor from my donor board all right to replace the bad one which i already removed from the pcb i'm currently working on all right zooming in you can see the capacitor has been replaced right there and this is the bad guy right here this is the bad guy now let's take another reading with our multimeter and let's see if that short is really gone or is still there all right let's take another reading of that capacitor that we just installed and it's reading properly all right all right it's reading properly and the previous capacitor the other side is also giving a very very good reading guys uh, we are good to go we are good to go let's put the phone uh the the pcb back on the on the casing and let's insert the charger and let's see if the behavior is still the same behavior or it has a different behavior a different result now let me plug in the charger and as you can see it's not drawing it's no more drawing any current now it's no more drawing any current that means it's good now let me plug in the the battery and plug in the the, the charger again and let's take notes of the reading on the on the charger meter now let's take okay that's number two on the charger meter is reading 0 0.6 amps 1.0 amps which is a very very good reading guys this is a very good result right here are you seeing what i'm seeing right now let's go let's go let's go hit the like button and subscribe if you want to learn more about this please join our online training and we are going to explain all these things to you we are going to give you the basics uh the basic knowledge of how to troubleshoot uh, a, a, a problematic phone like this one this pro this phone is having a kind of unique problem all right now powering on the phone and we are going to wait till it's fully booted the phone is fine plugging in the charger and we're having 1.0 amps and is showing charging logo guys make sure you join our online training if you want to learn more about troubleshooting mobile phone problems and repairing them i hope you understand all I have taught you in this video so far if you have gained a lot of things from this video don't forget to hit the like button and i'm going to see you in another video peace